Hello and welcome back to more Valhalla. I am now rushing to like finish this because of all this weird stuff I had to do with setting up the recording. I'm worried that if I record something else, like try to finish Yakuza, that that recording will be messed up again. So I'm rushing to finish this, even though I I think now it takes like a very long time to finish. So we'll figure it out. We have three chapters. We just started chapter two, so. Let's get going, I guess. I think it was three chapters. I, I'm pretty sure it was. Uh, you need... Oh, Gil's back. Hey, guys. How the hell did you get in? I have a copy of the key, remember? Wait, that's how you greet me after so many days? I never doubted you'd be fine. If anything, I have to cut your paycheck for leaving so many days without notice. See, Jill, he'll be here on Monday. Like, nothing never happened. Why does he have a copy of the key and I don't? The need for you having a key never arose. True. Why is he? Well, I guess just. Well, how do? Why do you come in the first thing in the morning, like before everybody else or whatever, whatever. Anyway, glad you're fine, Gil. Thanks, I guess. Uh, well, are you gonna make me wash the bathrooms again? Not today. Uh, listen, I don't know who the hell you really are, what you're trying to come back, or what's trying to come back to bite you in the ass. But remember, there are a lot of people that actually care about you. Don't just leave like you did. Especially after all hell broke loose. At least give us a sign that you're still alive. So you were worried. Isn't that normal? When it comes to you, I don't know. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh, she's right though, you shouldn't make ladies worry so much. Check if the cats didn't move the internet antenna, would you? Fine, fine. Hey boss, why did you leave the hoodie at my place? Because it's yours. But I told you you could keep it. Sorry, I couldn't find, find it in myself to take it. Why? Probably because I didn't feel right taking it. But mostly because I thought you totally looked cute in it. Oh, I see. Don't think I'm rejecting the gift of yours, it's just... Preserving cuteness is one of my principles. <laughs> right. Are you so worried about the whole bar closure thing? Of course I am. Yeah. Uh, not like I can't work because of it, but you know. Uh, all we can do is enjoy whatever time we have left as best we can. Yeah. So cheer up. Climate smells sadness and fear, and we don't want that. I'll go to my office. Okay. Attendance is fine. Did I miss anything? Not really, no. Anyway, let's start the day. Just gonna like, leave the music going. It's time to mix, drink, and change lives. Oh yeah, Gil. Uh, glad to see you're fine. I mean it. Thanks. Uh, excuse me, looking for Dane Zane. That was the BTC. May have your name. Tell tell her it's Brian. Just a sec. Boss, some Brian guy is looking for you. Tell him I'll be there in a minute. She'll, uh, you heard. It's alright, I'll wait. Uh, it's weird for someone to come asking for her, though. Uh, it's not so weird when you're BTC's regional manager in these parts. Yeah, I guess that's... Um... I guess I didn't give you the best first impressions. But don't worry, I know who I'm dealing with. <laughs> I'm not a fan of treating me too nicely because of my position anyways. Hitting me like just any other client. Alright, I can do that. What can I get you, Mr. Brian? The basics. Sugar rush, please. Coming right up. Uh... Be so much here for off. <laughs> uh... There's like a... I don't know what this would be. There's a little piece of thing, like a plug sort of type of thing, in uh, the side of my chair, and I always fiddle with it. And I accidentally dropped it. <laughs> uh, optional mix. Yep. Here. Yeah, this one's nice. Uh, back in training, they made, a, did a, they made a big deal out of sugar rushes. Why? They're like the fried eggs of mixing drinks. They're the most basic thing, but people can still mess them up. Uh, sugar rushes are simple enough that you only need to follow instructions. If you can't even do that, your future as a bartender is not bright. Huh, they never told me that. You're Jill, right? Yep, that's me. Dunn has talked quite a bit about you. Really? And I guess he must have a few questions for me, am I right? Uh, mostly considering the clothes you're wearing about how I got. Uh, can you disclose any information? I shouldn't, but you have the right to know. Thanks. Don't mention it now. Where to start? You saw the news on the information leaked during the Apollo Trust Bank incident, right? But the White Knights having lots of members from criminal organization in their ranks. Did I see that? I remember there was something about White Knights going rogue. Is that what they're saying? Uh, it turned out the White Knights weren't the only ones with shady people. Some of the uh, some of those same folks have been trying to elude legal problems during uh, using BTC certified bars. BTC bars have their own protocols, meaning the White Knights can't dig too deeply. At least, not without uh, going through a ton of paperwork first, giving the cr criminals time to cover the tracks. Uh, although it takes a bit of time to set up, it has apparently proven an effective method for money laundering. Oh yeah, uh, they mentioned something about money laundering. Where does Valhalla come in? Uh, Yun Bars is the one 
are the ones under the radar right now, and the modest to low income ones are the primary sex pests. It's not just Valhalla, any small bar with small income is being investigated heavily right now. So the closure notice is due to low sales. Among the reasons a bar can get axed, low sales is the rarest one. If low sales were a problem, lots of bars would close every year. Uh, you'll find out soon, huh? Sorry? Oh, nothing, don't mind me. Did, uh, didn't say that? Come here. Uh, seems your guess was spot on, Gil. If it helps, I'm doing my best to appeal in your place. Really? Why? Most of Glitch City's bars are a pain in the ass. They constantly get reports of chemical damage or shady drinks. This is one of the few places from which I, I almost never receive complaints. The closest thing to a recent complaint was the whole Farmer Fabrics affair from a little while ago. So much slow the dogs. I'm gonna get my hopes up though. Especially since the BTC will try to save face by acting as many suspects as possible. Knowing you're making an effort is enough, thanks. Uh, can I get you anything else? Now that I remember, the rest of your book has a drink created here, right? Oh yeah, the suplex. Give me one of those. Oh, did we cr create that? Uh, small, small twist and pod driver, putting more emphasis on the tongue burning, less on the throat burning. I guess so. Uh, three, four. Three, four. Uh, suplex here. The registry form said that this was his accident while making a power driver. You can ask the creator of the drink just over there. Oh, so you're Robert. Yes, that's my name. I'm Robert the one and only. Oh, uh, he doesn't have a different name now. I'm not gonna mention anything. Uh, Jill called you Gil though. Uh, it's Argentinian slang. Robert here is from Argentina, so we call him Gil. I see. I guess so. <laughs> Sorry, Brian, I was um, sorting some stuff at the office. Please come in. I'll be right there. You got any other questions? Not really, no. Although, yeah. If you were to evaluate my performance right now, how would you rate me? Clean and timely delivery of the correct orders, a top notch bartender. Hell yeah, thanks. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm surprised you haven't met him before. Uh, I received my training in another city. The original uh, supervisor there was some girl with a red mohawk. I see. I wonder what boss will talk to Brian about. Um, Jill, was it? Oh, it's Stella. Hey, Stella. Ah, Miss Stella, what a pleasure. Is Say alright? Are you okay? Yeah, um, just call me Stella and get me a big beer, please. Sure. A big beer? Um... Is Say alright? Hopefully she'll... Is the bar, is the, not the bar, the bank still, like, closed down? Or did that, like, sort itself out by now? Five, six, seven, eight. Are, are you sure you're fine? Uh, you know Say, right? Of course, what's up with her? She was at the Apollo Trust Bank during the whole affair, and oh, right, that. So she she didn't show up on the list of the massive body count in the aftermath. So I was hoping that maybe you'd seen her. As much as I'll just say I had, I've not. Yeah, I figured as much. Did people die? I wasn't really paying attention much of what was going on at the bank. It just said it like closed with people inside. But what happened? Was that what the night, white knight was being rogue? Because they mentioned that the white, some people were going rogue and killing people. Was that inside the bank? <laughs> Air is a lot heavier. Uh, I mean, I could tell her everything would be alright, but that would sound a bit condescending. <laughs> what does one do in this kind of situation? That'd be a joke, now that'd be tasteless. Okay, just try to say anything at the very least, you'll break the tension. Maybe just shocking her would be enough. I don't think Cleary wanted this kind of pressure, do I? Um, there was a private eye here the other day. I? Sorry, I'm a bit on edge. <laughs> a private detective, I take it. Yeah, maybe you'll want his services. What's his name? I believe it was Art Van No Long Delay. I forget that guy's name, I don't care about him. Oh, that Art guy. Yeah, I actually hired him yesterday to look at it. Oh, never mind. So you still have hope. Um, so we're between bargaining and, and depression right now, and I'm afraid to let go of bargaining. I see. Uh, is he any good? Uh, he doesn't look like he is, like it is, but he's quite skilled at gathering intel. I believe he'll give me answers about say whatever they might be. Uh, sometimes I, I wish I had a magic wand so I could solve all my problems with a swing, you know? Sorry if I'm making you uncomfortable. Uh, sorry, no. Uh, it's not about feeling uncomfortable, it's just weird. I usually try to say something with my clients when I see them down. And right now, I can't find any words that don't sound hypercritical, useless, or tasteless. <laughs> I'm glad to know you have that much common sense, at least. Yeah, that's alright. Uh, all I can do is get you drinks. Can I get anything else? Something sweet. Alright. So just give her another. Let's just give her this. 
I didn't know if I should just make another sugar rush. But I think this is more expensive. Okay. <laughs> uh, H. What does it mean to age something? Because I, when I think that, I think of like wine, where they hold it for a long time, but we're making this like right on now, so like I don't know what that changes. Don't know. I don't know anything about stuff like this. I mentioned that earlier. This also these little two. These two things. I don't know what those are. Maybe they're probably just decorational. Here. Thanks. Uh, it seems you really like Say. I don't have brothers or sisters, my social interactions are usually strictly business. Uh, so say he's more of a friend to me, he's... Sorry, I brought that topic up at a bad time. Um, don't worry about it. <laughs> As I was saying, she's more than a friend, she's my emotional support. She's someone I can trust wholeheartedly. Uh, I say she's like my sister, but siblings usually like that level of trust. <laughs> I have to deal with the high-class pricks of every race and upbringing on a daily basis. They use a business mask to hide anything they don't want others to know, and I do the same. But with say, I can be myself, and I can do whatever I want and vent all my frustrations. She's always been there for me, and now she might need me. But here I am, sitting in a bar, making other people do that do that job because I'm a useless pile of flesh. <laughs> Say that, you're cool. Also, you're not all flesh, you have some robot. Sorry about the outburst. I'm actually kind of jealous of the level of self-control you're using there. <laughs> I mean, I'd be a mess in that situation. Still, would you like some fresh air? I'm going to take my break, you can, you, you, can, you can use some. Well, for a given value of fresh, I'm fine, thanks. Okay then. Uh, Gil, please service me so while I take my break. Sure, leave it to me. That was a quick break. Yeah, it's usually like a while before you get to the break point, but that was pretty quick. Take a drink of water. Uh, yeah, uh, the one on the left, I can't see it. Uh, that can only be Stella, I guess. The only one that has like those hair, the hair where it looks like a fucking tornado. But it didn't have like the cat ears or the eye thing. Scratch my ear underneath my headphones. Give you can have to click there. God damn, is it chilly outside? Just yep. Back a. Eh? Uh, oh god, Tart. Why would a kid like you know about that? I'm just giving you the facts as they are. What happened while I was gone? Let's see. Detective guy came in. Uh, cat boomer girl meets him. Uh, so is that just what it means? Is it just a cat boomer? Just a cat girl? Because they mentioned that earlier, and I didn't really know what that meant, but I guess it's just... That means that they're a cat person, alright. Cat boomer girl greets him, they start talking. Everything was okay until the girl mentioned Zaibetsu Court offhand. After that, the guy got riled up and started bad-mouthing it. Oddly enough, he was the only one, she just carried on like it was just a normal conversation. I see. Well, I don't deny Zaibetsu Court is anything but innocent. Uh, when you get down to it, it has enhanced the quality of life here. Yeah, if by hands you mean getting yanked around by a shiny new chain around our necks. Can't you see that those big companies don't care about us? Uh, I think Cl think Glitchity is mockingly called the guinea pig of the world. Uh, that's the first time I heard about that. <laughs> it's one big test group for them to use however they want. Uh, but then again, I don't expect a kid to understand how hard it is, let alone a rich kid. I guess apparently they're rich and also young. I don't know how old they are. True, I don't know. And true, I have a privilege that clouds my judgment. <laughs> Uh, beginning to deny that the meddling in the Zaibetsu core has brought quite a few benefits. Like what? The AI intronegation program they started, uh, is making huge advances in the AI department. Every day more and more countries are seeing the benefits of re uh, recognizing AI as a citizens. Uh, yeah, but we also hold the AI reformation program. Meaning that we're also the world's aluminum prison. AI went rogue, transfer to delivery drone, or ship it to the glitch city. Hmm. Uh, that murder is now delivering your pizza. Fair point, although that program has proven to have reformed many AIs. Don't brag about the 88% success rate for nothing. Hmm. The city also has a stronger economy. Zeppuchi Core's success has made more and more companies using their products here, and the gap between classes continues to grow. More companies just mean more people who will point their feet to your, on your face. Uh, it also means more products are being brought to the lower classes. I've I'm outside of this conversation, I'm not dealing with this. Uh, stores have 20% more brand variety compared to last year. Uh, Zybutsu Core's main uh, medical research branch has also made lots of discoveries. I don't even know what Zybutsu Core is. I'm assuming they mentioned it earlier, but I don't really know what it is. Uh, more and more illnesses previously thought incurable are being addressed every day. It's amazing for those who can afford them. Meanwhile, down 
down here we're experiencing medicine uh, shortages almost every month. You have a point there. Oh, but there's also more jobs. So all the companies coming down, uh, they're here need personnel. So the unemployment rate has gone down by almost 40% this year. More jobs, shut up. Am I wrong? Well, that's... Hey, don't just sit there give me a Zen star. Sure. <laughs> For the sword, baby. I don't really know what they're talk talking about. Have we made a... Is four of each ingredient? Yeah, I've never made this before. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Uh, uh you think something so balanced would actually taste nice, but you'd be dead wrong. So, I guess it makes this gross. Whatever. Here. God, this is awful. It's your order, though. I seriously hope you don't really believe everything you just said. Of course I do. How else would I? Uh, why else would I say it? You do bring up something I always fail to remember. All the benefits we've gained over the time are limited to a few. I can talk about advances all I want, but in the end, there's still a luxury you've been wanting only a few. And even uh, those that can be ac accessed by everyone are more like an improvement in the bigger picture. That doesn't take away the fact that there's still been positive changes. Credit where credit's due, don't you think? That's a pretty mature answer. Uh, discussions are a way for two parties to understand each other. The only people afraid of discussion of the one's points are too fragile to defend against someone. Yeah, mature, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to take the chance to ask you about the job I gave you yesterday. I haven't been able to find much, but I can at least tell you that she wasn't at the bank when it opened up. What does that mean? Uh, either she left before the whole ordeal started, or she managed to escape at some point before the whole thing ended. Uh, all the corpses are accounted for. They only found one totally disfigured, but witnesses identified it. It wasn't your friend, that much is for sure. That's good, at least. Did you call him here? No, he just happened to come here today. Uh, the weird part is that the girl did enter the bake. It's like she vanished or something. I see. Thanks. Keep it up. Yeah, I still don't really... Look, why people die at the bank, if you remember. Also, the TV's off. The TV's never been off. Weird. Uh, your face brightened a bit. Hope the last thing you lose, I guess. Uh, if he's telling the truth, they might have found a way out. As uh, she's a resource for gold, she surely did something. I think I'll have another drink. Do you want anything? Me? Uh, just give me whatever you order. Bad punches. Oh, bad touches. Better. Jill always fucking. I heard that as bad punches. Jill fucking loves this every time. Every time we make it, she just loses it. Uh, uh, Why just look at this? Yeah. Uh, that's. I remember this one party I went to, the guy came up with the name of this drink, showed up. After people found that one, they lined up to slap him for whatever reason. They didn't seem offended to me though. Imagine guy shows up and tells you I made a classy bad touch, why don't you line up to slap him? Um, are you okay, Jill? Yes, yeah, Jill fucking loves it. <laughs> Another thing, but did you find that girl you were looking for a week ago, Mr. Von Dele? Uh, turns out she was at the Apollo Trust Bank all this time, no wonder I couldn't get in touch with her. Girl. Someone paid me to look for Crimson Rose, and she happened to be at the, uh, what? I'm trying to avoid mentioning that a dangerous assassin got stuck in the same bank as a girl you're looking for. Oh, don't worry. Besides, the last thing I'm worried about is about what says people. Why is that? Her attitude is usually so laid back and gentle that she has no problem getting people on her side. I still think that there's something kind of wrong with today. She's weird. She can't, like, understand simple concepts. It's strange. And the off chance that she has to defend herself, well... I once saw her take care of a, of a war bot gone haywire by herself. She did some uh, medical help afterwards, but she recovered in no time and managed to take care of the bot. Is she really that good? Uh, she's not only really physically fit, she's also really good at the uh, Krav Maga. And, what's Krav Maga? And something wrong? No, nothing. I just realized I forgot about all of that. So it's not invincible, but she knows how to take care of herself. And like I said, she's resourceful. She sure really found a way out. I just hope she's uh, she's well wherever the hell she is. I do too, I like to say. She owed me an ice cream. Oh yeah, she did mention that. You want another drink, Mr. Von Dele? It's on me. Are you sure? Yeah, order away. Okay then, have a piano, man. And you? I'm fine, it is. Alright. I like all of the characters in this game. Well, to an extent. Some of them, way more than others. Dorothy's definitely my favorite. I really like Dorothy. Uh, so this 
is what drinking something classy without worrying about what the price feels like. Although I should get going with my contract, well, my contact will arrive at the rendezvous point soon. I'll let you know if I find out anything else, Miss Hoshi. Hoshi? Stella Hoshi. I didn't know about her last name. Please do, like that. You've been generous today. Uh, he made my night with his discoveries and says, She's so happy. Uh, I'm not totally over, but at least I got distracted for a bit. Well, that's good. Uh, well, that's it for me. Good night, Miss Hoshi. Thanks again. Please come again. You don't mind if I stay a bit longer, right? Why would I? Yeah, it's not like you're. It's, it's not like you're asleep. Thanks. Place is soothing. I just go sit over the near of the arcades. Uh, all right then, that would be all, Donna. Quite a mess. The situation with um Robert. <laughs> what? Uh, Brian, you have a meeting in an hour with uh MI6 Hall C. Well, I'm trying to think of that spell, but I'm having like a. I don't really know what that would be. What the hell is this? Right, right. Oh, if it isn't Miss Hoshi herself. Ah, uh, Brian, fancy meeting you here. What is this? <laughs> I don't expect to see you here of all places. Are you busy? Mind, uh, mind catching up for a bit? Sure, no problem. Uh, Jill will be sitting over here. I'll let know if you need anything. Will do. Um, uh, this holophone is an old bottle, so hanging up is a bit laggy. You can call me Cass, by the way. I'm Jill. I uh, say, you guys give a lot of liberties to my boss. I mean, yeah, she gets a little too much stuff. She's not hurting anyone, and what you say is more interesting than... Oh, I finally hung up. That was weird. It's been quite the day. At least the streets are calm today. Oh, my phone's almost dead for my timer. I, oh, arrived yet again at the... Oh, God, the majestic hall of heroes. Calm until now. Oh, God, it's this fucking coomer. Oh, uh, we meet again, bartender. You look winded. It's pronounced a very hero. The hero. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Virgilio. <laughs> he said it as much as the last time he came. Pronunciations are silly, silly things society imposes on letters. They want to be free. They want to be pronounced however they want. I mean, depends on what language you're speaking, I guess. You look winded. Uh, we're all little toys winded by the, winded by the cruel fate. Uh, hand of, is it saying... Another thing about it, is it winded or winded? <laughs> Never thought about it. Uh, just someone until it decides not to win wind us anymore. I guess it's wind. Uh, I, but winded? I guess, I'm, I guess that, whatever. And yet, you're the only one here in the vicinity hyperventilating. Maybe it is winded. Well, okay, never mind. That's, um, I was jogging. Just like that. I can jog however I want with your camo tie. Yes, you can. What can I get you? Something fake. Of course. Fake? I don't know. Fake. Uh. What fake be? It was kind of unbearable. It's mostly for the fans of the movie who used it. Uh. I'm reading these. <laughs> but you better not have a sore throat when drinking it. Uh, but too many complaints about skin pro made them resign to drink without the sparkling. Uh. I don't know what something fake would be. Um... Uh... Teeth turn blue, hope you brush them well. So unnecessarily brown. Will it be this? Cause this is like a... Like a fake... Urban legend? I, I genuinely have no idea what it could be. Um, I'm assuming he's gonna... Be fucking, I don't know. He's a dick, so whatever. How'd I fail that? Fun. I keep missing. Fucking flying grade. Fucking grade. Whatever. Yeah, I have no idea what something fake would be. Here, have this, you fucking map. Fucking cunt. 
here you go. Now tell me why this is fake, because I didn't even try. Your expectations of me giving in a damn about the abstract order are fake. <laughs> Bravo, brilliant. I fucking probably could have made whatever. Say, Vizro, where do you work? I take the noble duties of curator at the Steampunk Museum. Oh, that's actually kind of pretty cool. Really, what do you do? I study everything that comes and keep it clean for the people that visit the premises, but lately my duties have been hindered by the museum's owner. Really? Yeah, he told me to stop touching the exhibits, you're gonna break them to nerve some people. What? He still fails to realize that I'm the curator there. Uh, without me, all the machines would be rusted than they already are. What? Even the visitors get uh, that I'm the one responsible for those, why can't the owner realize that too? Yeah, are you not really the creator? I bet he treats you like a janitor or something like that. Exactly. Oh, he's a janitor. Okay then, time for the next challenge, bartender. Fucking whatever challenge he says. I want purity. I can't give him pure ingredients, so, uh... Probably, like, something girly, I guess. Honestly, I don't care if I mess up the orders for this guy. I don't I don't like him. <laughs> I was just saying that I like all the characters. I don't like this dude. Have this. Fucking whatever. How is this pure? To drink is from any human sin. You can do no harm consciously. Ah yes, beautiful. Whatever. Hey you the guy over there. Gil. Yeah. Yes you, have we met before? Can't remember, maybe? Yeah, I think. No, 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 we haven't met, er, ever, at all. That's an interesting reaction. Uh, uh, Jill, I'll be taking the leave now. Okay, bye, Stella. Uh, thanks. Huh? Excuse me, have we met somewhere before? That face, that eye. What about my iPhone? <laughs> we haven't met ever at all. Never, ever, ever. Good talking to you, bartender. Uh, that was strange. Did you scare up client? Apparently. Good. <laughs> well, I'm off. Thanks for everything. Uh, don't mention it. Are we done for the day? Is the one guy still here? The Brian. We have quite a few clients considering the whole situation. Oh shit, that Virgil guy. So you two actually met before? Yeah, you can say that. What? Gill stuff, don't mind it. <laughs> Probably some met over some weird shit. <laughs> were you talking about the Brian? Well, we were mostly catching up to be honest. I didn't see him in a while. I offered him a drink when we la met last week. Talked a bit about what we had to do after the bar closes. Oh, and I tried to uh, explain this situation with Robert here. Uh, he agreed to help out with when, when that time comes. Uh, oh, I was also uh, tuning up the details for the new employee. New employee? A part-timer. You'll meet him tomorrow. Oh, him. So it's a guy. Adorable guy, if I do say so myself. <laughs> I suddenly have deja vu. Are you alright, Joe? Yeah. Must be nothing. Oh boy, what's that mean? Brian told me to give- oh, thanks Brian, hooked me up. <laughs> um, yeah, I have to save 8,000, so I'm not gonna buy anything today. But, um, that's gonna be the end of the episode. I need to plug my phone in, because I, I use my phone for my timer, and it's almost dead. Oh my god, my freaking thing out, it almost fell off. Plug that in. There we go. Alright, uh, so I'm just trying to get through a lot of these very quickly because of the whole recording thing, as I mentioned at the beginning of the episode. So, uh, hopefully, it's not. I don't know how long the rest of the chapters are. That, that first chapter was decently long. So, hopefully, it's not too long. Well, goodbye.